Freedom. Today I wanted to catch you up on sponsorships. I've been writing some documentation lately on sponsorships, and I figured I might want to share some of that with you. So this is going to be in sort of a question and answer format, so try to give me a little bit of a pass because there aren't a lot of really great ways to do that because it kind of involves me talking to myself. Not like it's the first time there. And that's the kind of joke I was looking to avoid. Some of these questions have been passed through support, which means that they are questions that partners just like you have asked. First things first. First, what is a sponsorship? Well, according to Miriam Webster, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be that guy. A sponsor is a person or organization that pays for or plans and carries out a project or activity. Especially one that pays the cost of a radio or television program, usually in return for advertising time during its course. That means that a sponsor has to see value on both sides, which is often what separates a sponsorship from a giveaway. So you have to ask yourself, Anytime you start doing something, are you asking for a sponsorship or are you asking for a giveaway? Can you, as a partner or as a, a sponsee, if you will, sponsee? Uh, sponsee, actually return value equal to what it is you've taken out of the system? Question number two. Why does Freedom have revenue streams such as Spreadshirt lumped in with sponsorships? This is for two reasons. See, Freedom usually negotiates some way to make this better for all parties, such as making monthly payments possible or increasing percentages for our partners when possible. When that's not possible, we try to make things as convenient as possible for the partner. Some of these convenience measures aren't things that are easily spoken about in a way that makes things sort of forthright and obvious, but some things I can sort of mention and breeze over. Sometimes Freedom will leverage its international status to allow you to not have to pay upfront taxes on this in the US. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have to pay taxes on it, but it does mean it gives you more operating capital while you're getting everything worked out throughout the year. Other convenience measures could be things as easy as simply making it super simple and easy to sign up and or taking care of some management things behind the scenes. Of course, with every deal, it's slightly different, but these are some of the things that we do. Are them Freedom Music Libraries a uh, part of them their sponsorships? This is one of those weird times where the word sponsorship might be splitting hairs a little bit. Of course, Freedom does shoulder the brunt of licensing fees and other things that would be normally needed to license this music to you. However, going back to what we spoke about earlier about sponsorships versus uh, giveaways, a good number of channels may never make back their percentage or their, their share of what it costs to license that music. So in that case, it is a little bit of sort of taking from this column to round things out for this column. So there you go. Freedom has a deal with insert company name here, but I can get that on my own. Why do I need Freedom? You know, I'm kind of glad you asked. Each deal we strike with a company, we try to bring something new to the table. Some of these things we can talk about, such as removing minimum payment thresholds or negotiating more frequent offer codes, such as like sales, promotions, seasonal discounts. The other stuff usually goes into a harder to talk about category for competitive reasons. And from time to time, there are even legal things preventing us from talking about specifics. With that said, we can say here in the past, we've negotiated some of the following terms with some otherwise public companies. Let's see here. A $2 higher CPM than average in certain markets. With some companies, we've done no maintenance or transaction fees, higher affiliate percentages, monthly payments, extra layers of support, management resources for the sponsor, educational resources to the sponsor and or sponsored person, and easy payment through revenue share rather than fixed monthly amounts. So that's it. That's our sponsorship update. Let us know in the comment section down below what you would like to to talk about next or what questions you have and I'll see if I can put together either an article or a video talking about that. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye!